Hello. Right now we are going to do the rigid docking. Make sure that you are in the folder in which you want to work in. Um, well, we are going to need an instruction called rigid in with the like and that we created in the video of preparation of the ligands and receptor. This the like like charge period mol2 and another file called selector spheres here we are going to extract from from the sph file that we created during the sphere selection video okay uh well we're going to open this rec sph well first we're going to duplicate it Okay, let's copy to rename it. Oh, sorry. And then rename it. Okay, selected spheres, period, SPH. Then we're going to open in, the, in a text editor, such as text edit or something else. And I am going to select everything except the cluster number one and then erase it because I know that my protein has the calyx in this in this side okay here is it's done save it and then close it the selected spheres file it's it's done then here you have to put the grid there you want to use grid score grid the prefix just the prefix because the doxic is going to use different files for this situation this one and the other one okay i'm i'm using the default parameters for the rest if you want to know more about it i'm going to add link where you can see much of them and then remember to change the addresses or paths of these files that depends on your computer you can just look at look for them in your finder or something else and type the the path of them in your instruction well then write your output prefix I wrote rigid and then save it and close it well next um, make sure to be in the doc6 file and make sure that you have doc6 in your computer for example, here I wrote doc six minus i rigid because it's the instruction dot in, and then click enter. Then the docking is running. It should take not more nothing else than a minute, something like that. Okay, it's done. Fifteen seconds. Pretty fast, I think. Okay, now I am going to open this docking, the rigid scored is the one that we are interested in. Okay, right now go to your chimera or whatever you prefer. Okay, we're going to open the the receptor without hydrogens. Here it is. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here's the BLG. Then use tools, surface binding analysis, and build dock. Look for your docking. 
and is it's rigid scored here mall 2 open it then select dock 6 and here is your docking you can you can see them here it's uh it's inside of the calyx quite upside down but it it's there you can the palmitic acid. Okay, you can see the all the simulations and um, see the scores, the grid score, whatever you are interested in. Mm -hmm. Okay, it looks this one in particular that didn't find uh, the calyx, but it's okay. Nice. Okay. The next one that we're going to use to do it's the Anchor and Grow docking. It's a flexible docking. Here we need a, an instruction. It's I name it Anchor and Grow. Okay. It's pretty similar in the input files that we're going that we have to to introduce in the instruction. It's pretty similar to the Rigid one, okay, ligand, selected spheres. Again, if you need more information about these instructions, I'm going to add a link or something similar at the comment zone. Mm -hmm. Selected spheres. As I mentioned before, we made these selected spheres from the rec SPH. And we selected only the cluster one. Good. Mm -hmm. mm, okay. Right now, I'm going to change. Well, I'm going to add this diagrid and Remember again to change this this paths and or addresses. Make sure that are the ones that are in your computer so we so so doc can find them because if you don't do it, the phone is going is not going to work. And sometimes it's difficult to notice that without some help. Then after that, you should put the the prefix of the output file. I wrote, I typed anchor and grow just to know that that's the correct docking that I want to look after. Okay, now make sure that doc six is working. Okay, doc six. Minus I is the instruction anchor and grow period in. Okay, you're going to wait until it's done. It's going to take a little bit longer than the rigid one, it requires more computational power. Okay, done. 54 seconds. Pretty fast, I will say. Okay, good. Let's go to Chimera. Then open again the receptor without hydrogens. And with the same tool, the surface binding analysis, build dock. Mm -hmm. Then Search for the scored one. No, 
uh, yeah, 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 Anchor on Grow, where it is, okay, oh no, it's here, yeah, sorry, okay, Doc 6, okay, and here is your docking, it's pretty similar to the rigid one, well, I am talking about the visualization part, it's pretty similar, but the dockings look pretty different in this case. All of them found the the calyx but are upside down. Well here you can add some columns so you can organize your your way to see it and to and to document your information. Okay. This is the Anchor and Grow docking and thanks for watching and look for the next video that it's the docking made with amber